Well, first of all, um, welcome anyone listening to the Next Prospectus podcast. Um, my name's Andy. I'm one of the uh, managing directors at Prospectus, and um, we're interviewing today Sean Webster. Um, so Sean and I um, served on the board of Keyring um, together, um, a really amazing charity uh, working across the UK with people with learning disabilities. Um, and today, Sean's um, agreed to sort of have a, have a conversation with me really about um, his experience, um, his background as a trustee, mm-hmm. um, what he enjoys um, and what he contributes um, really to board members. And Sean and I were talking before um, about what we think is really important. I think and Sean will introduce himself and talk a lot more eloquently than me is that we this is really about um, about people and Sean's learning disability doesn't define him and he has value as a person um, and for us that's like that's really important but yeah Sean do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah my name is Sean Webster MBE I got learning disabilities I've been working most of my life I, and uh, I, and my passion is giving people with learning disability a voice to be included to be respected Bad in jargon. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you, and human rights. And human rights. And you, you've got, there's quite a rich background that you've got. I, I've just had one trustee role. And Sean, you've, you've done a lot of work and I think volunteering in your time as well. Is it, can you tell us a little bit about your previous roles? Um, oh, uh, I, I, did, I did do volunteer work with Key Ring some years ago. It was very interesting because at the time I was I will do I was working at a warehouse. Did enjoy did enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> because Clevin Bund did itself I was stuck there by a pathway the much useless chocolate fire guard. <laughs> so mm. I've just been so covered you just oh take a pot you got a job you got to learn to speak be grateful. Oh, I want to quit for all being bullied and physical, being bullied and for favor abuse. But I couldn't yeah. leave the job, it was nowhere to go. But to be told me about caring. And I, I did do fun in team work with caring. And that got me thinking about my life, about my future, where I want to go. And I did do I did do fun in team work with them. Some years ago, God, that was a lot, long time ago. God, Ooh, I'm 49 now, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in a way, Keywing opened, Keywing opened doors for me. If I, if I, if I have Keywing, I will have a job at Change. And I've been working for Change for 20 years. And uh, and what I did work with, when I did work cut a key ring, kind of the volunteer work cut a key ring, that, that opened me to get my job at chains. Because they were looking for people with life experience, not this, not A levels or anything like that. Mm. Life experience. Yeah, potential, right? Yeah. And I did uh, I did work with them about him. I did work with Chain about employment around sexuality, because Myself, I'm bisexual. Myself came out when, 30, when I was 38 year old, but it was difficult because I thought I was going mad because I didn't understand it myself. And especially school think you got to learn disability, you don't have sex or any uh, any relationships. And I met the doctors about that, but they, it will look it will look much help. But two friends of me from change that got me to understand about my sexuality. Thank God of that, they were there for me. But got to my experience, I use that in my work now. In change, I'm doing projects about LGBTQ+. I use my experience about all care, mental, about mental, about having mental problems. Mm-hmm. I, I, I not just I do work with LGBT too. I do I do work about employment in the past too. I use my balance speed working for that way out firm I used to work for, and I got experience about making information accessible. I do a lot. 
good thing having experience in life, it, it helps you to change attitudes for people who have got learning disabilities and inspire other people with learning disabilities to be like yourself. I think that's the, when we talked before, well, that's the whole thing about making sure that other people have the same opportunities. Yeah. Um, you do. And obviously you, you talk there about a lot of different experiences. Yeah. Um, which I think anyone doing any trustee role, they, they bring their experiences um, to the board table and to discussions about governance. And I guess my first question really then is sort of why is being a trustee important to you? Being a uh... Trustee is, is important to me because if I did have key with my life now, I'd be isolated and I won't be where I am now. I'd be doing my job I didn't like to be. I'd be in a house I don't want to be. I'd be isolated, not all any friends at all. Mm. But I'd be, I think I'd be in a workplace without keying. That's why I'm giving my thanks back to keying to change my life for the better and use my life experience to make trustee better for everybody on Kiwi Network. Okay, well, that's really, really cool. So for you, it's um, um, for you, it's about making sure that you're there to influence um, change in, um, in someone else's life because you've seen that benefit. And if if I don't agree in anything I've been on the ball, I can speak my mind. Because I'm not speaking mind for me, I'm speaking for people with learning disabilities. I'm there for it. Definitely. I think the, and I've seen that too at the board meetings as well. Yeah. You're there. Um, it's really good to hear that you feel that you um, you can contribute as well. You're there to have a voice. Um, and that sort of comes on for a little bit into my next question, actually, is um, so what do you think you contribute um, as a trustee? I think what I think give to the trustee is I give give my opinions and my voice to make sure they I would on on make sure they're on the right track. If I, if I, if I, if I, if, I, if I, I feel what they're saying, I'll I'll depart them on that. If I'm not, I'll speak my mind. But I'm very tactful. I I will speak. I don't go in like a bull in a chai shop. I'm there to <laughs> I'm there. And then if I'm not happy, I'll tell you. Like the other day, I was at a mental health meeting at St. Mary, and I, oh, they, they showed it uh, 40 questions. How, do, how people we learn to understand 40 questions there, unrealistic. Do you, but I didn't, no offense, if I looked at that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make the effort. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I'd look at 40 questions, to be honest, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to knock it down to 25 or 20. But I feel I could do that too in, in keeping. If I try to be new and they're not thinking not gonna work, I'll speak my mind. I think that's I think that's a really important thing about being a trustee, isn't it? It's being able to speak your mind and influence. I, I think particularly with the bit that you said then about being tactful. Yeah. Um, I think that's really important as well. I certainly noticed that on the board of keying, there's a real respect. I think for people's voices and people's opinions, and that was why I, that was why I found it um, so enjoyable. Um, and so, could I ask, so what do you think trustee boards should do um, if they want to recruit someone onto their board um, who has a learning disability? I think they need to make it. I think they need to have one to one meetings to be a one to one meetings, get to know the person. Uh, if they are making information, but they need to make it accessible. What, what works for you? What's important for you in the accessibility? What things do you find most helpful? When they talk to me in plain English, if I don't understand, I ask them to repeat themselves. Because if I'm going to ask them, I'm going to be honest with you. If you don't, if you don't tell them, they went, they're not my leader. You need, you've got to do your bit too. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Meeting meeting halfway, right? Yeah, halfway. Because mm. I believe if they want to make information accessible, you could put your half of it too. Because if, if you if you're not if no one knows not doing that, what is the point of a meeting? Um because I'm not there to tick a box, I'm there to have a, I'm there to put my opinion on them and a voice. Mm. 
And the, I guess the, that comes into, that's a little bit about my last question, I think I've got a few too, is you, um, you talk about how you want to change the picture. Yeah. Um, people with learning disabilities and let them have the same opportunities that you do so what would you say to someone with a learning disability who's considering um, becoming a trustee is it that is it speak their voice is it meet halfway what would you say to them i think maybe if if, if, if you went down my route you need to meet get to know and meet them tell them about your disabilities Talk to them about how to make sure everything is accessible, but we need we need to, we but we need to work together on it. It's very important to work together to make accessible, because if you don't do that, what by what point I'm interested by me to, in, in jargon. Yeah. I think mean, yeah, the jargon is a good point for everyone. I think as well. Yeah, yeah because my belief is. We need all need to work together, not just one side, both sides. You're, you're both sides of a coin, ends and tails, and we need to work together because if we really want the trustee to work, we need to work together on everything around questions, how people talk, around respect, around inclusion. Because I don't want to. To go to a meeting, I'm the talking list person with an anticipation. I've been to too many meetings like that. It made me feel uncomfortable. I really? Yeah, I've been to a lot in past, and I feel, oh, we've got to be with an disability, tick the box. And I feel, I'm not, I don't, when I'm there, I'm not there to tick a box, mate. I'm there to have an opinion and talk yeah. to be my mind. And then and the, the, the look shocked. <laughs> That's a good thing, I guess. That that challenge that you bring as well, then. Yeah. Um, so if people have a perception or they think that you're you're there to just be quiet. Um, yeah. That's definitely not the not your role. Oh, I'm not there to be quiet, mate. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> and the I remember in my leaving card um, from Keering when I sat down from the board, you put a really nice message about so I stepped down because having a kid. What advice would you have for me? Then, if I'm a new father, what do you think? Um, what's your the best bit of advice you've got? Uh, I'm, I'm a father to eight kids now. How many children? Eight kids. Eight. I swear, my my wife in Philippines, she got five. <laughs> my ex, I got three. <laughs> well, my ex, my wife is be the best person to be listen, listen to you listen listen to your kids make sure they respect you you respect them and always talk always talk I think that's a lovely one actually yeah <laughs> because when and and always if they ask for advice be there for them my my I my oldest daughter in Philippines, Grace, began to, I can't think too much about it, but she wanted my opinion and she wanted me to be truthful. My advice is, if the person do it to you again, give them more chance, if, if do it at the time, walk away. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the, um, I think the, the thing about talking, always make sure that you can have that advice as well. And actually, Sean, do you have any questions? Any questions for me at all? Yes. No, in what is uh, what is what type of work you do? And, I, and how long have you been doing it? Ah, okay, that's uh, so I so previously I worked for Surrey County Council in a learning disability team. So that's where I started off just after university. Yeah. Um, and then the last 10 years I've um, been working in Prospectus. Um, so that was my initial interest in, I think, about joining Keyring was I, I worked in the, the charity sector, prospectus recruitment and advertising, but from my first job, I've always been interested and passionate about, about learning disabilities, and it's not an area that I know as much about, um, so that's why I joined Keyring. Um, but day-to-day, -day it's, um, it's advertising, it's recruitment, um, working with some really great people um, at prospectus that I know that when they when they see this video, I think there's going to be a lot that you talk about that really resonates with them. Um, uh, that stuff about, I think, speaking your mind, I think being respectful, tactful, 
always talking. Um, I think those things are really important. And I'll be honest about that, I learned that skills. Or, or I learned to be tactful all the time when I work with people like yourself. Because if you, if you kick off, you're not going to take any pay. It's just make my, my, you don't make life worse. You've got to work with people. You've got to be tactful, speak your mind in a professional way. If you kick off, you're not going to get any pay. You're not. I'm glad you, you're glad you think I'm tactful. Hopefully everyone else agrees, Sean. I think you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a nice compliment. Um, and so I think I'll, I'll probably bring it to a close now, I think. But I just want to say again, it was genuinely, it was a real pleasure um, working with you um, on the board of Keering and all those things you've talked about. Um, I've seen you put them into practice over the sort of three years or so that we worked together on the board. And yeah, really, really thank you very much. Um, You're welcome,